Welcome to City High News for the week of October 5th. My name is Larry Helsham and I will be presenting the events for this week. Tickets are now on sale for the 2008 Fall Dance. Tickets are $10 each, but if you purchase your ticket by Tuesday, October 7th or Wednesday, October 8th, you will receive a limited time only discounted price of guess what? Only $8. The theme for the Fall Dance is Rockstar 80, so throw on your Adidas, big hair, Kangos, and bring your Get Fresh crew and walk this way to the 80s thriller of the year and don't stop till you get enough. In October, the 10th grade will be going underground and into the dark when the class of 2011 visits Laurel Caverns on Friday, October 24th. A new school news magazine is being formed. The first meeting will be on Tuesday, October 21st. If you would like to be interested in writing for it or helping with production, you should plan to atten attend the meeting or contact Mr. Signs by email. I'd like to congratulate all the students of the month for City High. Um, out of the freshmen, Terry Thomas, Amber Palfi, Stephanie Cato, Cameron Averagine, Dominic Eubanks, and Alyssa Palmer. And for my graduating year, Seth Diggs, Kristen Turner, Leslie Miller, Jordan Lewis, Pamela Blanchard, and Terrell Story. Juniors, uh, Larry Eli, Renisha Hart, Dorsey Wheeler, Dustin Martin, Sheree McAlexander. And for the seniors, Shayla Fowler, Jamal Davis, Sarah Lyons, Daniel Osman, and Angel Thomas. I will now pass it over to Tamia, where she will give you the rundown. Thanks, Larry. I'm Tamia Davis with the rest of the news. Senior Jay Carter is hosting a cleanup party on Saturday, October 11th from 8.30 a.m. until noon. He is looking for volunteers who want to join with him to help fight urban decay. The event will be conducted in Lawrenceville along 40th Avenue. Senior Janae Price is sponsoring a coin drive for her senior project to raise money to provide toys to children. She will be collecting in the lunchroom next Wednesday and Thursday, October 15th through the 16th. This is a very worthy cause, and your spirit of change can help bring a little joy to some kids who could really use it. Congratulations to the following seniors on their acceptance. Aaron Gazarski to the Marines, Carly Silvo, Art Institute, Taylor Fowler to the WVU, Kay Davis to the National Army Guard. The senior graduation has been postponed until June 27, 2009. Thank you. I'm Tamir Davis with this week's news. Now pass it on to Joe Frick with the sports. Thanks, Tamir. The Penguins opened up their season in Stockholm, Sweden this past weekend as they split a two-game series against the Ottawa Senators. Sidney Crosby notched two assists and Evgeny Malkin also recorded two points over the weekend. After a poor start, the Steelers were able to regroup and defeat the Jacksonville Jaguars 26-21. Ben Roethlisberger opened the game with an interception return for a touchdown, but he managed to throw for 300 yards and three touchdowns following the interception. Mewaldi Moore did a nice job stepping in for the injured running backs as he ran for 99 yards in relief. It was a good week for college football in western Pennsylvania. The unranked Pitt Panthers upset the number 10 ranked South Florida Bulldogs, led by a strong rushing performance by LaShawn McCoy. He had two touchdowns and ran for 142 yards. This victory put Pitt back in the top 25 with the 20, number 23 ranking in the USA Today poll. Penn State continued its quest for a perfect season as they defeated Purdue by a score of 20-6. to six. Led by Evan Royster's 141 rushing yards, the Nittany Lions and Joe Paterno are halfway through their difficult season. Their biggest success will be in the coming weeks against Wisconsin, Ohio State, and Michigan. That's all of our sports updates for this week. My name is Joe Frick. Thank you for watching.